Sirenia is another suborder of mammalia. And in this suborder, you're going to find animals such as the manatee, the dugong, and the sea cow. Unfortunately, the sea cow is now extinct, and we'll talk a little bit about why and how that happened. Um, so Sirenians are located in tropical coastal waters, so they are found close to shore um, in warm water. The sea cow was actually the only polar coastal season, or sorry, polar uh, species. So they were, um, they lived in like the Arctic, but because they were gentle and easy to catch, uh, sailors as they were exploring the Arctic um, hunted them because they had, apparently they tasted good as well. Um, and they hunted them and actually they hunted them so heavily that they all are gone. And um, sea cows actually went extinct about 30 years after they were discovered because they were hunted so much, which is pretty sad. So we no longer have any Arctic species or polar species of Sirenians. We only have tropical species left. Uh, Sirenians never leave the water. They're always in the water to sleep, to breed, to give birth. Everything for them happens in the water. They're going to stay warm using blubber. Um, and they're also going to eat things like seagrasses and algae. So they're herbivores. Then they will get big and fat on just seagrass and algae. Their, t their tail is this broad paddle-shaped tail. Um, and then they have this, these short, stumpy front flippers, um, which you can kind of see in the picture in the background. That's actually a picture of the stellar sea cow. Uh, and so you can see they've got these short front flippers and then a broader paddle-like tail at the back. So here's a couple pictures. You've got a manatee at the top, and then the bottom picture is a dugong. Do, so Iranians got their name in an interesting way. Um, they actually got their name from the mythical creature, the siren. And if you know anything about sirens, you, you know that they are supposed to be these beautiful women that would sing um, and attract sailors. And then the sailors would go to the sirens and then they would, the sirens would kill the sailors. Well, <laughs> Sirenia got their name because when people came over to the New World or to America for the first time, they saw these animals like manatees. And you can see in the picture that's on the screen, um, apparently they thought, the sailors thought that these animals looked like sirens or mermaids. And maybe it's just me, but I don't really think a manatee looks like some beautiful woman with this long flowing hair. But <clears throat> because sailors thought that manatees looked like the mermaid or the sirens, they are placed into this suborder Sirenia. So just fun little fact. Uh, here's a little comparison between manatees and dugongs, just so you can see the difference between the two. The dugong is on the left and the manatee is on the right. You can see the difference in the shape of their face. Dugongs have a much longer muzzle, um, whereas manatees have a little bit shorter muzzle. You'll also see that um, dugongs have smooth skin, whereas manatees have rough skin. And then manatees tend to be a little bit larger than dugongs. They'll get up to about 1,200 pounds and be about 10 feet long, whereas dugongs will get up to about 660 pounds and only be 9 feet long. So you can see the difference between the two. And one of the most distinctive features that's different is the shape of their tail. So you can see the manatees on the right have like a paddle shape, whereas the dugongs on the left have more of like a dolphin-shaped tail. So that's the difference between the dugong and the manatee.